Peacock. Now, we all like to eat all sorts of wonderful things, particularly a dessert. We've got a couple of stars from Priscilla, queen of the dessert, today. <laughs> How about that? Shall we meet them? First up, in the Red Kitchen, joining chef Richard Phillips, we have actor Tony Sheldon. <laughs> And in the Green Kitchen with Chef Gino Di Campo, we have fellow actor and Priscilla co-star, Clive Carter. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you. Really, really thank good. You. Are you enjoying the food in this country? I am. I, I haven't cooked a single thing since I've been here. I've been Shocking. here for five months and I've been yeah. eating out the entire time. So I've been sampling mm -hmm. everything that uh, England has to offer. It's I'll tell you what, there's a lot of good things on offer here. Compared to Australia, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, OK. Well, let's have a look at your bag and see what, right, uh, what goodies yes. you bought. Uh, I feel yeah. like my mum's packed my lunch for mm. me. Here we go. Cherry tomatoes. Oh, look at those now. It's very nice. Do you like them? Oh, yeah. I what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Sure. Do you like Wasn't those? I lucky I was in the red kitchen. <laughs> <Yeah, he's laughs> <lucky. laughs> no, I wear these all the time because, yes. um, you know, I'm eight shows a week. Yes. So uh, life is too short to be putting nail polish on and off every day. <laughs> so I leave them on permanently. Now we know what the girls have to go through. Tell Richard what I you have brought, brought some along. celery, as mm -hmm. you can see. I have brought some chicken thighs. Yeah. I have brought a uh, courgette, you call it over here, but it's mm -hmm. a zucchini mm -hmm. in Australia. Yes. Um, I I have some um, cannellini beans. These are yeah. something that I discovered uh, recently because um, I have a, an intolerance to wheat. Mm -hmm. I've found things like uh, cannellini beans have been really interesting to, uh, to cook with because Lovely. they're wonderful in stews and things. And also uh, prosciutto ham mm -hmm. is something that I'd never um, cooked with before. How much did you spend then, Tony? Uh, I spent £7.30. OK, allowed to spend up £7.50. Good bit of shopping there. At least I think so. What do you yeah. think, Rich? Yeah, really good. There's some nice ingredients there. Um, um, so, what am I going to do? I guess that's the big question. Uh, well, what are we going to do with it? Well, yes. I mean, um, so, I'll, I'll do the chicken. We've got three nice thighs there. I mean, I like the thigh. It's packed full of flavour. and I tend to cook it on the bones. So it keeps it nice and moist. Um, so, two of those I'll, I'll use and we'll do maybe a nice cassoulet. Very traditional. So, we'll break down the tomatoes, a bit of celery through that. And we'll do a very traditional cassoulet with some bread. We've got some gluten-free bread back there. So, we'll glaze the top of the beans. Nice cassoulet of chicken on top of that. And the other one, I think we'll, uh, we'll bone it out. We'll stuff it with a little bit of braised celery. Wrap it in some uh, parma ham. And we'll slowly cook that. And uh, we'll do some deep fried zucchini, as you call it. Yummo. Yes, sound sound good? good. I'm impressed. Tony is very impressed. So are we, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Richard and Tony. Clive, <laughs> how are you, mate? Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, also, you're part of the show, Priscilla, yes. Queen of the Desert. Do yes. you get an opportunity to go out and eat every night, or like Tony does, or do you go straight home for no, beans I go on toast? Home. No, beans on toast. How dare you? No, tell me more. No, no, no. no <laughs> I go home, and my wife, my lovely yeah. wife, Francesca, is Italian, mm -hmm. uh, usually has a meal ready for me, all cooked yeah. already. There. Oh, nice what Italian a lucky meal. man you are. So I'm with the right person. So you're yeah. just following there, in yeah. that vein, aren't we? Yeah. We all know that. Come on, let's have a look. Okay, oh, and by the way, both of you, it's not zucchini. It's zucchini. Zucchine. If you want to show off, show off properly. <laughs> Zucchine. We'll show off for the food. We'll show off for the food. Okay. Oh, the competition has begun even before we've started In cooking. In your dreams. Oh, uh, lovely. Here we go. Wow. OK, mate, tell okay. us what you brought along here, then. Uh, nice piece of steak. Mm -hmm. I, I like meat. Now, this, uh, yes. Brussels sprouts. Now, yeah. some people hate, a lot of people hate Brussels. I love, I love Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. Mm. Um, apart from cooking a gnaw, but you're interested to see what you could do with yeah. maybe something different with okay. that. Um, Stilton, I love strong cheese. Mm -hmm. I absolutely adore cheese. Now, pears, of course, mm. uh, Italians, Italian uh, pears and cheese go well. They use it a lot. Very mm. good. Mm. Very good. Yeah. And the, how much was all that with the red pepper? That came to £7.50. 45. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just under, so that's pretty good. Good no, bistro you? bag. What do you think then? I love it. Um, yeah. I think the first thing, you, you like Italian food, oh, right? Awesome. Should we do some fresh pasta? Yeah. yeah, homemade fresh pasta. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some beautiful tagliatelle <laughs> with uh, pepperoni and uh, cheese. Something very simple, very light, the way the Italian do it. Uh, then we're going to do, of course, some pear and silton together mm -hmm. in the oven. I'm going to bake them nice and crispy on top. Mm -hmm. The other pear, I like to poach them in... Uh, uh, Italians are the, the very good on mm. uh, poaching pear in red wine with a little bit of vanilla. Mm. And then I'm going to do a cheese dressing to go with it, mm. which is fantastic. Mm. Okay, you can use as a starter or you can use as a dessert. Okay? Fabulous. Uh, the steak, you know, I think we, we need to keep with the Italian. We're going to yeah. do a tagliata di manzo. 
-hmm. tagliata di manzo, which is a grilled steak with a reduction of balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Okay. We're going to serve them on spicy sprouts. Fantastic. That's the way I like. You have to wait can to tell I, me what the second one is. Of course you can. Is, is there any way that... Uh, sorry, Francesca, but could you be at home tonight when I come home after the show? Because <laughs> you ladies and gentlemen, Clive and Gino, what is he like? <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know what happens now. We give ourselves 20 minutes to come up with those fabulous recipes by simply saying, "Ready, steady, cook." Mm. You grab your apron. Give your hands a little wash there. Hey, yeah, get, get, get yourself organised. So let's give um, let's give you a job first of all. If you can take my celery. Like this. Let's get you a knife. Let's just chop off the end there. Right. Don't need that. We'll use that for a stop later. Then take a peeler, Ooh. and then if you can just gently peel the celery, we're just going to get rid of the um, the stringy bits of celery. Right. I'm going to use this in quite a few different ways. I mean, I love celery, but I think it puts people off somewhat because it is quite stringy. But just all these pans on, Rich. Yeah, that'd be great. Cheers, Ainsley. You got that? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'll um, I'll crack on down this end. Mm. So, um, I said earlier that I obviously like to uh, cook my... You like um, your chicken thighs? It's chicken kind of a, thighs quite a on the uh, meat and Quite a chef thing, because it's like, um, uh, like most fish as well. Mm. I like to cook fish on the bone, because mm -hmm. it just keeps it really moist. It um, keeps it lovely and succulent. It does, right. and it stops it shrinking up. But I don't have an awful lot of time, so I'm going to just take the bones out of these yeah. very quickly. Like so. And what are you going to do with these? So one of these, um, well, two of these, I'm going to use. I'm going to make a cassoulet, a very traditional yeah. dish of cassoulet. Yeah. Um, quite hearty in the autumn, the winter months. So I'm going to season that up. Get that into uh, into our nice hot pan. Mm -hmm. Steal it on both sides. Yeah. Bit of onion. A um, bit of uh, white wine with juice in that as well. Then I'll add the tomatoes, yeah. some of the beans, and it's going to be cooked sort of in the pot. So one pot shot, really, from, yeah. from the oven to the table. Loads of flavour. Does that appeal that. to you, Tony? Do you like the one, one pot thing? Uh, you know? Yes, very what much. What hearty so. food? Yeah, exactly. That's perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We'll come back and have a chat again with uh, Tony and Richard, of course. But we're down here with Gino and Clark. I think they're going to get into some, some uh, pastry making in a moment. And also, got a okay. pear going here. Okay. Hey, so what I'm doing? First of all, uh, Clive has been preparing the pear for me. Mm -hmm. Here I got some uh, red wine, vanilla. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got bay leaf. That's what I like, and clove. Mm -hmm. Get a pear, leave it in there, and let the wine do the job. Okay. As it's boiling, it's going to do the job. Leave it there on the okay. side. Okay. How long would you cook that for then? Uh, how long have we got? Well, you got about <laughs> oh, 17 minutes. Well, 17 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, what we want to do here? We got yeah. the uh, flour, <laughs> just plain double zero flour to make pasta. Mm -hmm. We're going to take two eggs. Every 100 grams of flour, you need one mm. egg. Okay? So Have you ever made pasta then, Clive? Yeah, I've actually made um, tagatelli. Yeah? Honest, what we're doing today. Sorry, Clive. Oh, oh lovely. lovely. Well, we're going to get. Shall we get Clive to roll it out and do everything then? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this time I'm not going to use a pasta machine. What's yeah. going to happen now is going to yeah. become like breadcrumbs. Yeah. Okay? But you want a, a wet, consistency breadcrumb because you need to be able to work it. Yeah. So once you're done, pick some of it up, okay? And see, if you can make a bowl like that, okay, mm -hmm. that's meaning that it's working. Okay. Okay, so that's done. Okay. So what you want to do, if you can clean your uh, uh, yep. work surface. Work surface. Where do you want these there pairs? Do you know? the oh, what, what are there. you doing down there, mate? <laughs> are you burning the place down? Well, do you know what? Oh, can I just whoa. say something? That's the only way the Australians are going to get the ashes back this time. <laughs> Let's hear it for the boy. All right then. <laughs> so then, Ainsley, what's happening? You you have your uh, flour on the surface here. Okay. okay. Put the dough on the flour, yeah. and then you're gonna have to start to knead it together. Okay. You want to do that you know, for about a couple of minutes, so mm -hmm. to make sure that all the pasta gets nice and elastic, because that's what it's all about. You need to make sure that it's elastic. Okay. Okay, so it works so A bit of flexibility, a bit of uh, yeah. easiness. So you put it there, you make a ball, and then what we're going to do, Clive, like my grandmother, I'm going to say that you're old, eh? like my grandmother used to do, yeah. by hand. Yeah. Okay, send her using an, uh, a, machine. a machine. And that's it. Thank you very much, Gina. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Very okay, much. I'm going to parboil the sprouts, okay? Okay, chef. Because that's the way I like them to do. I parboil them. And